everyone. This is a problem of material yield variance. Uh, in this question, all data are same as previous questions, but the change is this. Uh, here are two materials and here are laws given in both sides. If the loss is given in the question, then it's a question of material yield variance. Here are two material, material X and material Y. Material X quantity, standard quantity 120 and material Y standard quantity 80. And the total of standard mix is 200. And uh, standard yield or output is 140. Here actual mix for material X 112 quantity. And uh, actual quantity for material Y 88, its total is again 200 and the loss is 50 and the remaining value is 150. 150 is actual yield or output and 200 is actual mix. Here standard price for X and standard price for Y. Here again actual price for X and actual price of Y and these are the costs. Multiply of both means product of both quantity and price, its cost. Then it's total and then again actual cost. As per given question, the given data is standard quantity for X and Y 120 and 80 and total is 260 loss. Then the standard yield or output is 140. Standard price X and Y 510. Total standard cost 1400. Actual quantity for X and Y 112 and 88 and its total is 200. Again, loss 50, then total actual yield uh, or actual output 150. Actual, actual price for material X is 5 and for material Y 10. And actual cost is 1440. Now, we, we will calculate two datas. Standard quantity for actual output. First, we will calculate this. Standard quantity for actual output equal to standard quantity of each material. It means standard quantity of each material for material X 120 and for material Y 80. Divided by standard yield. Standard yield or output. It means standard yield is 140 and actual yield is 150. Then we will calculate for material both. Standard quantity. Then second we will calculate in this question material yield variance. In this question material sub uses variance will not calculate in place of material sub uses variance we will calculate material yield variance material yield variance equal to standard cost per unit multiply actual yield minus revised standard yield where standard cost per unit equal to total standard cost it means 1400 divided by standard output or yield standard output means 140 it means 1400 divided by 140 then standard cost per unit will calculate and revised standard yield equal to standard yield or output divided by total of standard mix multiply total of actual mix it means standard yield or output standard yield means 140 total of standard mix means 200 and total of actual means uh, actual mix means again 200 then we will calculate this uh, we will uh, remember this point material yield variance will calculate only for common purpose not separate for the solution first we will calculate the standard quantity for actual output for material x and y and its formula is standard quantity for actual output is standard mix for each product it means 120 for x and 80 for y divided by standard yield or output 140 for x and 144 y multiply actual yield or output 154 both then we will calculate standard quantity for actual output for x and y now we will calculate material cost variance and the formula is same material cost variance equal to standard cost minus actual cost and where the standard cost is standard quantity multiply standard price and actual cost is actual quantity multiply actual price. And we will calculate for both X and Y. For X, standard quantity, we will calculate 128.6. And for Y, 85.7. Multiply standard price, 5, 10, minus actual quantity. Actual quantity will remain same as before. Multiply 5. And multiply 10 then we will calculate this standard quantity multiply standard price its product is 643 
माइनस 560 एंड दिस 857 माइनस 880 एंड इट्स डिडक्शन इज 643 माइनस 560 देन 83 इन फेवरेबल कंडीशन एंड 857 माइनस 880 इट मींस 23 इन एडवर्सिबल फॉर्म एंड इट्स टोटल इज 83 इन फेवरेबल एंड 23 इन एडवर्सिबल फॉर्म देन इट्स डिडक्शन इज 60 in favorable condition. Now we will calculate material price variance as before. Material price variance equal to standard price minus actual price multiply actual quantity for both x and y. Actual quantity. For material X and actual quantity for material Y. Actual quantity 112.88. Standard price. Standard price is 5. Actual price again 5. And uh, 10 and 10. Then its deduction is 0. So these are 0. Now we will calculate material uses variance. Uses variance and material uses variance formula is standard goes minus X. Actual cost and it's multiplied by standard price for material X and Y. Standard price for material X 5 and it's 10. Standard quantity 120. No, it's changed 128.6 and 85.7 minus actual quantity 112 minus. 88 and we will solve this 128.6 minus 112 and then multiply by 5 and its answer is 83 but in terms of favorable now 85.7 minus 88 and multiply by 10 and the answer is 20 in adversible form now we will solve this 83 in favorable and 23 in adversible and the answer is 60 in favorable term now we will calculate material mix variance. Material mix variance. Material mix variance equal to material mix variance equal to standard price multiply revised standard quantity minus actual quantity. Now we will calculate for both material X and material Y standard price standard price five and for y 10 and revise the standard quantity we will calculate rsq for x and y for x material mix for each 120 upon total 200 mix multiply actual mix 200 and this quantity is come 120 and 80 upon 200 into 200 it means 84 y then 120 and 80 actual quantity 112 88 and we will solve this 5 multiply 8 40 in favorable condition and 8 80 in adversible condition and both answer is adversible and favorable 40 in adversible form now we will calculate material yield variance. Now we will calculate material yield variance and material yield variance is equal to SC per unit multiplied by actual yield minus revised standard yield. SC per unit where it will calculate SC per unit. SC per unit is standard cost upon standard yield. Standard cost is 1400 divided by standard yield 140. It means 10. And uh, where RSY revise standard yield equal to revise standard yield equal to standard yield or output. It means 140 divided by its mix 200. And actual mix again 200 it means 140 
Now we will put these values. It will calculate only for combined waves, not separate waves. Sc per unit 10. Actual yield. Actual yield is 200. Sorry, 150. And revised standard yield is 140. Its difference is 10. 10 into 10. It means 100 in favorable condition. Now we will verify it. Verification. MCV equal to MPV plus MUV equal to 60 in favorable, MPV value 0 and MUV value in 60 favorable. Now this condition is ok and verified. Second condition MUV equal to MMV plus MSUV. We not use in place of MSUV we use material yield variance and we will put this value material uses variance 60 in favorable mmv answer 40 in adversible and myv its answer is 100 in favorable 60 favorable and 100 minus 40 it means 60 in favorable now both conditions are correct it means our answers are correct